So last class we were uh, um, focusing on customer journey map and the customer journey map is a visualization technique uh, which will help to understand that the very important stages of each and the uh, important stages of customer journey map. So it will give a lot of insights about uh, which are the specific area the customer is facing challenges, which are the pain points, specific area the customer is having the pain points. So it unlock up uh, opportunities for innovation and growth also. Now, um, so what happened is that, okay, uh, when it comes to uh, understanding the user expectations, because you know, the customer journey map having uh, basically having two axes, the horizontal axis talks about uh, the important stages of customer journey map and vertical axis talks about three important aspects. So one is the user goals, one is the touch point and one is the pain area. Uh, so uh, so the last class, um, we identified some user goals and we identified some pain areas. Um, here, okay, we actually put our assumption, okay. It may not be true. So we ask a user, we try to understand, okay, what, what do we expect when we go for a booking stage or when we go to an uh, um, interval stage at watching theater, watching movies. We also try to put the pain points. So that is, uh, maybe it is only my, my my pain area or it is maybe uh, my expected goals. So when this comes to the large number of people, so we need to come to a conclusion. So there, okay, we need to focus something called research methods, okay? So basically you talk about research whether it's a, a structured process of collecting data. Yeah, so maybe this is uh, very simple and maybe very familiar with most of the people. So. Can you tell me what will be quantitative and qualitative? So in the case of quantitative research, it's basically data-driven uh, research. It gives you a lot of numbers, percentage, uh, how many number of uh, male users, how many number of female users, what percentage of the people are uh, opting for a cafeteria. Maybe we can, we can have multiple numbers, percentages. Number, yeah. And qualitative research, it talks about uh, the expressions for example customer is not happy uh, with the payment gateway so they they may say that okay the payment gateway is very slow so they may vent out the feelings either in the social media platform or or even in the survey also there is one column there is something called open ended questions where we can uh, share our uh, emotions or uh, the expressions so that is a qualitative research and we discussed that okay most of the uh, research is now in qualitative in nature and this it is uh, uh, current uh, uh, with coding techniques, okay, we can we can analyze even the qualitative research. Now, any idea about uh, the primary research as well as uh, secondary research? So, what can be uh, the possible? The, yeah, as you rightly mentioned, primary research is the data collected for the first step. You create a survey, you create design a questionnaire and you try to collect the information directly from the customers. Secondary research is something that is already published. So it can be a Grizzle report, it can be an EY white paper, it can be Deloitte white paper, KPMG report, where already a uh, research is being done and it is being published. Okay. So what can be possible advantage and disadvantage for the primary research? So one advantage for the primary research is, uh, so this is um, when we conduct a primary research, it is customized. So we designed a questionnaire, okay, as per our needs. So yeah. the, the, the disadvantage of secondary research is uh, we need to interpret or we, need, we cannot take the full part of the research. We can only take yes, a part sir. of it. Yeah. Now, uh, probable disadvantage for the primary research, it is time consuming and it um, involves huge cost. If you take my example, uh, I did my PhD, okay, so I find it very difficult to get the people to fill the survey forms okay, because I need to collect around 500 research, uh, I mean 500 survey forms. So initially it is very easy, but uh, later on it is, you know, people doesn't have time to, to fill up the survey forms. It is very boring. So later on I was forced to give some kind of Amazon vouchers worth 500 rupees for filling out each survey. Then only I got some kind of traction. So it is very difficult for uh, uh, primary data to be collected from the people. Now, disadvantage, advantage with the secondary research, it is already been published. Okay. Um, sometimes it can be a cost effective and uh, disadvantage is it is not customized as per our requirement. 
generated research is uh, helps to understand the problem um it focuses to understand okay what is what is the exact problem rather than okay it does not focus on the solutions part so in order to understand the problem it may apply both primary as well as secondary research okay and uh, it will helps to form a hypothesis so what is a hypothesis it's basically an assumption so whenever we yeah. start the research we start with a hypothesis uh, for example okay in the case of book my show okay we feel that the payment gateway uh, the processing time is very slow okay so we form a hypothesis okay we form a hypothesis that payment gateway is very slow and we create a question or we create a uh, survey based on that hypothesis and we need to test the hypothesis so i will explain in detail the hypothesis can be tested which can be either hypothesis can be accepted or it can be rejected so uh, to be very specific generative research focus in understanding the problem now evaluative research uh, so what will be evaluative research so evaluative research is conducted uh, later portion of the projects okay it validates uh, early research by testing potential solutions uh so it we it, it it is used basically for testing a specific prototype okay now we identify the problem then we create a prototype then we need to understand whether this prototype uh, matches us with expectations of the customers so we may use uh, uh, we uh, we may use a qualitative or a quantitative research okay and we can use only primary research because it is highly customized okay there is no spec specific secondary research available uh, for that particular prototype now market research um, it focus basically uh, about customers how customers uh, uh, taste and preferences get changed if there is a change in the product features okay example uh, if the colors textures are made uh, if there are changes are made in colors and textures okay what will be the response of the customers whether new advertisement appeal to the customers or uh, when we launch a new product customers are ready to accept that product so specifically on market research now ethnography um, so ethnography um, talks about uh, the connection between human behavior and culture so you know uh, if you go to each place the customer behavior gets changed um now when bagdanals launched in india okay they had a big challenge because you know um, th their uh, uh, signature product is a beef burger okay so they launched the beef burger and you know in india uh, the beef is uh, in not all the parts of the india the beef is accepted Yeah. So they yeah. had a huge setback. Okay, then they had to reposition themselves, and they need to uh, mention that. Okay, they also have a lot of veg burgers in their menu. Okay, so they didn't understand the culture and the human behavior. Okay, so each places the, the, the culture have a huge impact on the human behavior. So we can use a qualitative research. so what first one is uh, generative research okay and then is a prior under generative is it a primary or secondary or quantitative or qualitative whether uh, they should go with a primary data or a secondary data primary data okay so it can be a secondary data also uh, because this is comes common uh, forms of study you know public transportation yeah. maybe there are different department might have started might have done the study uh, maybe a road department had done the study or a police department may have done the study okay yeah. so there may be a possibility of uh, all the uh, available data is there now how about this can be market research but more ideally it is a uh, evaluative research because evaluative research is done to test specifically uh, for a product or prototype then under evaluative research uh, what are the other different variants of research is it a primary data or a secondary research 
or quantitative or qualitative qualitative okay why why uh, we can have quantitative also so maybe you can ask the customer okay uh, customer. if you like the design okay yeah. and uh, please share your uh, experience when using this product yeah. so it can actually fetch qualitative data but you can also identify quantitative data maybe okay. we can ask the customer to rate from 1 to 5 okay uh, oh. based on their usability of this particular prototype one being a highly usable and five being the least useful okay so uh, you can arrive at some quantitative numbers also now second uh, question is whether uh, uh, it is a primary research or a secondary research now this is uh, this can be only a primary research reason being the prototype is may not be similar kind of prototype may not be available for other companies so they did their own research they identified their own prototypes and uh, there may not be any kind of very rare chances of having a uh, all the available data so they need to work on the primary data itself so in summary uh, the problem or case study number 2 it's it start i mean on a higher level it start with the evaluative research then go to a primary research then it can be a quantitative as well as qualitative how about this does it study the impact of culture on the human behavior obviously um, i'm right okay if if we are, if we have a, a pedestrian or so cycling way okay Uh, in india okay uh, the, the two wheeler or the two wheelers will take mm. that particular road so basically a cultural okay so uh, try to understand the impact of culture on the human behavior uh, so we can we can say it as an ethnographic research okay yes sir. now under ethnographic research it can be a primary research it can be a secondary research there might have been already some kind of study being conducted so that is why uh, it can be the secondary research it can have both quantitative as well as qualitative data okay now this research methods are very important okay i, I will talk a little bit about the research uh, techno research methodology okay how we can analyze the data but i'll not dive into deep because we do have less time but i will just uh, give you an overview of uh, research methodology how research can be done so this kind of research techniques is uh, conducted in multiple uh, areas in management research social research even in scientific research also now when it comes to the design research uh, comparing to the traditional marketing research we may go little uh, deep dive okay we may take a different approaches okay so in this slide you can see okay something called literature review okay that is very common okay for any kind of market research but not very common is observation not taking focus group okay so because we want to get multiple uh, sources of data so that okay we will have a clear understanding about the customers so these are the different uh, tools for design research what is literature review uh, competitive analysis uh, observation note taking photo ethnography uh, interview focus group and questionnaire so literature review uh, so we already uh, covered that it talks about uh, secondary research we try to read the literature uh, books uh, publications white papers and try to understand okay what are the challenges and and that specific area competitive analysis uh, another uh, source of uh, information for the product development team is competitive analysis so we try to understand uh, the, how a competitor is performing which features is actually uh, 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 is liked by the customers okay when you uh, when you compare with the competitor which are the features which we don't have it okay and uh, which are the features uh, which you you either you or your competitor may not have it so in fact uh, competitive analysis can give you an another bucket of information on data so we will uh, we will cover in detail uh, regarding the competitive analysis now let us start with a very uh, interesting uh, design research tool that is called observational note taking 
So this is very simple. Um, we try to observe the behavior of the customers and and try to note what are the specific behavioral uh, uh, patterns, specific behavioral changes when they use the product or a services. I just want to uh, share a real life example. Now, before that, okay, let me give an exercise. Okay, what is this picture all about? Old lady. Now, can you try to identify young lady also? Is it possible to identify uh, young lady? You maybe try to see the picture from a different angle. Normally, this if, because if you yes, if you consider yeah. this as an eyes of a young lady, okay, this can be young lady. If you consider this as a young nose lady. of an old lady, this can be an old lady. Now, if you have a keen observation, you can you can interpret a lot of things. You can get a lot of insights. Okay. Now, have you heard about a person called Indra Chui Nudan? She uh, she was uh, the CEO of Pepsi Corporation. Okay, she is basically an Indian. So when she yeah. took over as a CEO, she had multiple challenges. So one obvious challenges was she was she is she was a lady. Okay. And uh, people from the board uh, viewed a little bit skeptical. And at that point of time, Pepsi were also having a multiple challenges. Okay, their market share was coming down. Okay, their, their biggest competitor, Coca-Cola, was expanding very fast. So the biggest challenge for the Indra Joy Nudan was a, a complete transformation of the Pepsi Corporation. So she, what she did was initially is okay uh, she tried to observe okay how the pepsi uh, is being used by the customers so she wear the hat of a mom or she wear the hat of a user and try to understand okay how the users is using this product so even uh, she asked uh, a uh, her subordinates to go to the different uh, places where pepsi is being used and asked to take a photo of the customers who is using the product. So some of the interesting observation um, um, uh, they made was, okay, so one observation was the respect to men and women do snacks. Okay, so for example, when a men finish a snack, they pour what is left in their mouths. Okay, they are not bothered about okay if, if something is left in their mouths. But women do that. Okay, they are very very careful about that. They don't want any remains of the snack uh, in their mouths. And uh, women also worry about uh, whether this product may stain the clothes. Okay. And they won't rub on the chair. So which a lot of guys will do. And another interesting observation was, okay. Uh, so yeah, for this particular observation, what Pepsi did was, okay. They came with the stack chip that comes in a plastic tray inside a canadizer. Okay. So when women want to snack, they can open the drawer and eat from the tray. And when she's done, she can push it back. Now, another thing is, uh, women actually does not want to hear the uh, voice. Okay, when they when they having the when they when they eating the snacks. Okay, they want less noisy uh, to eat. So what they did was uh, they reduce the size of the snacks and they reduce the thickness of the snacks. So there is no voice. So I mean, I'm just sharing a real life example. So this is this is the power of something called observation, uh, observation note taking. Now, there's an another uh, variant of uh, observation note taking. This is photo ethnography. In fact, okay, Pepsi already did something called photo ethnography. They try to capture the photos of the customers. Now, another uh, Powerful technique is interview. So in the case of interview, we discuss with the customers. Okay, we ask, okay, what are the challenges you face when you use the product? Do you have any frustration? Do you for you do you find it very difficult to use this particular feature? Okay, what is what is uh, your feeling after using the product? And you can ask a couple of questions. So one advantage with interview is that comparing to the survey, where some questions are not clear, here we can clarify the questions. Okay, it is more engaging, but only challenge is that it will take more time, and most of the time the customers may not have the time to spend on interviews. Now, another variant of interview is focus group discussion. So, what in this focus group discussion? Uh, in the case of focus group discussion, um, uh, 
the company will actually gather a group of customers and they try to share their uh, problems challenges when they use the product now biggest advantage with the focus group discussion is it can trigger one person mind okay so that leads to uh, more and more ideas uh so let me share one personal example okay i am i'm residing in a flat okay so every six months we do have something called uh, association meeting or annual general meeting so where okay every uh, resident is expected to share their challenges okay uh, when they stay inside a flat and uh, sometimes okay one person's challenges can trigger another person's uh, mind also uh, for example uh, i may say that okay the behavior of the uh, the the security is not very good and i may share one particular instance so this may actually uh, trigger an another person's memory and they say that oh, i also had a similar kind of experience from that particular security guard uh, we need to uh, replace that particular person or we need to train that person so that, that is advantage of focus group discussion okay now the last method is something called survey okay we can create a survey and we can gather information from the survey so this is not very effective method uh, the reason i said earlier is that okay people will not spend uh, much time on filling out the survey forms okay and sometimes uh, because of the compulsion they may not uh, give you the right kind of responses they just uh, put their responses uh, not rightly how there are some uh, good steps for the survey design okay identify okay what is the objective good question that is in order we need to keep it uh, simple and short ask only one question at a time we need to avoid jargons and there is something called close ended and open ended questions so what if a close ended question that, that will have a definite response did you like the product yes or no now what if a open ended questions um so what is your feeling about the product that help the customers uh, to reveal more about the product that it can really open the minds of the customers and we need to spend time to design the survey we need to analyze the responses after collecting we can put a summary report conclude the plan of action now there are a lot of tools are available for creating a survey <laughs> the most uh, uh easiest tool is google survey then there is something called survey monkey is there which is commonly used because it will give you a lot of analytics on the back end also so when you create a sur uh, survey these are the different kind of questions uh, so one is multiple choice single selected okay? so you have a question and you have a multiple responses but you can choose only one option now there is another thing called multiple choice multiple response you have a question and there you have a multiple response you can select multiple responses for example which of the movies you have watched so you can have a multiple responses now uh, there is something called a uh, side by side matrix so it will give you multi dimensional data okay uh, it will it will give you a lot of information from one question itself um so this is one example of uh, multi dimensional data now uh, here okay the, the example given is uh, um, the customer was asked about uh, sharing their recent online shopping experience now there are two aspects of it one is the importance and one is satisfaction the, what are the diff they they identify different parameters for example user friendliness when i go for an online shopping experience uh, some customer feel that uh, the user friendliness is very important some some feel that okay i am looking only for the discount okay user friendliness is not very important when it comes to satisfaction some people feel that okay user friendliness contribute toward the satisfaction and not satisfaction so uh, this will actually gives you a lot of data under one question so this is called side by side trick matrix and uh, multi dimensional data Uh, there is something called rank order question yeah, so here okay we can ask the customer for rank so there can be five or six responses we can ask the customer to rank each responses so there can be rank number 1 rank number 2 rank number 3 rank number 4 rank number 5 so that is a rank order question 
Now, another variant of rank order question is constant sum question. So rather than giving a rank, here we ask the customers to allocate some points. Okay, there will be a total uh, in this case. Okay, um, the customer is uh, given a total of hundred points, and out of hundred hundred points, okay, how much money is being spent? If you have a hundred rupees, uh, what is how much you spend on essential? How much you spend on entertainment? How much you spend on utilities? How much spend on your other uh, necessities? So this is called constant sum question. Now there is something called image type question um, because you know one image is equal to thousand words, so people are attracted to the images. So there is highly likely that okay they will give a response when the image is there. So that is an image type question, and then there is something called open-ended questions. Okay, so there is called open-ended question. So in short, uh, okay, so I was explaining about uh, different kind of tools for design research. So one is literature review, one is competitive analysis that we will discuss. We will discuss about different competitive analysis tool in the next class. So one is observational note taking. Okay, we we take the uh, behavior, we take, note down the behavior of the customers. So I have shared one example of how Indraju in note and transform Pepsi. Uh, by using observation note taking another variant of uh, observation note taking is photo ethnography and uh, video ethnography then we can conduct interviews uh, so interviews are one of the most powerful way to understand and the customers uh, reactions or response to a particular product now focus group discussion okay we gather group of participants. We asked it to share their opinions and feelings about the product. Then we have seen uh, what is survey, how we can create a good survey. What are the different kinds of survey questions? One is multiple choice. One is multiple choice, single select. One is multiple choice, multiple response. One is side by side metrics. One is rank order question. One is constant sum question. One is image type question and one is open-ended question.